Lauren Hart. Thank you for joining me on AJ Asks. Thank you so much for having me, AJ. I'm super excited to be here. First of all, what is iBounce? So iBounce is an online program uh, that aims to teach children who have finished cancer treatment all about health and physical activity. Um, It provides information about the importance of keeping physically active um, and it also focuses on different topics uh, such as muscular strength, uh, flexibility and even sugar intake as well Um, and also encourages kids to set some goals to help them maintain or increase their physical activity levels. What made you decide to focus on physical activity for kids who've gone through cancer treatment? So when I did my undergraduate university degree, one of my placements was at a cancer survivorship centre. And here I was trained to educate about exercise for adult cancer patients and survivors. I was really moved by a lot of the people who I'd met there and listened to their experiences and see how exercise was so important for their recovery. And so after that, I did um, a little bit of research on my own um, and discovered that I couldn't actually find any exercise centres for children who had finished cancer treatment. And so this is what really sparked my interest and, and passion for working with kids who have gone through cancer treatment. Is there an ideal time to exercise during the day? I would say the most ideal time is whenever that suits you. So it will be different for everybody. So some people might like to exercise in the morning. Um, Some people will exercise during school. So any time of day is okay, as long as you try to do something every day. And so exercise can also be making those very small, healthy choices throughout the day, um, such as choosing to walk up the stairs instead of taking the lift. Or maybe you could walk to school or ride your bike to school instead of driving to school. What are some good ways people can exercise when they are stuck at home? Um, So you can do a whole range of exercises. Uh, You can do body weight exercises that strengthen your muscles, like um, doing squats and lunges. If you wanted to get your heart rate up a little and you're stuck at home, you can do things like jogging on the spot, doing star jumps, or even dancing to your favourite song. Do you think maybe we can try and exercise out now? Yeah, of course. Let's start. Have you done any boxing before? Yes, one time I did some boxing with my mum. Ooh, so we can go, we can, you start with your hands in front of your face because you always want to protect your face. So one hand in front of the other and we can go do a few of those and then we can do some uppercuts as well. So these ones like you're punching upwards, punching upwards. (laughs) Good work. So... I play water polo. What kind of endorphins are released when I'm in the pool? So when you exercise, your body releases chemicals. um, And these chemicals, one of them is called endorphins. Um, And these endorphins trigger um, a very positive feeling in your body, which is why you might feel really great after uh, playing water polo or going for a swim. So not only does exercise help with improving your physical health, such as improving your heart health, strengthening your muscles and your bones, um, it can also help with your mental health too. It can boost your mood, your self-esteem, and can also improve your sleep as well. Finally, if you could design your own kid's cancer project bear, what would it be? I have a feeling yours might have something to do with exercise. Ooh, I like this question. Um, So I did, I think my bear will be a combination of the exercises that I like doing. So obviously it'll have exercise clothes on um, and it can be holding dumbbells um, for my strength training um, and also hiking boots on. And if I'm allowed accessories, maybe a wide brim hat as well um, and maybe a backpack or a water bottle as well. What would yours be? Hmm, I don't know. So if I was going to do an exercise type bear, well, with other people, we were all talking about making like, a triathlon set 
So Ooh. it has like a bike bear, a running bear, and a swimming bear, which I thought was pretty cool. But I feel like it would also be pretty cool if there was a water polo bear because I play water polo, so that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Have have the ball and the nets as well. Yeah. And like, <laughs> you come with like a whole set. Or we could just make this whole new series of them, which is a sports series. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. So thank you for coming on to my show today, Lauren Ha. Thank you for having me, AJ. Do you have any questions you'd like asked? Leave them in the comments below and they could come up in future episodes of AJ Asks. <laughs>